Hey everyone, this is Milo. He told me I had to make a video for all of his adoring fans out there because he wants everyone to know what he's been doing the first two weeks here at the house that we've had him. Say hi to everyone, Milo. Oh man. So yeah, he's uh, about to be three, had him like two weeks now, so I'm going to talk a little bit about what it's been like to have a puppy in the house again. Oh, he's sleepy. This is the only way I can get him to sit still. Uh, so some of the stuff he does is just like normal puppy stuff. Some of the things, maybe a little unique to corgis. Uh, yeah, that's right. Well, unique to you, because only you can sploot. I think they call it splooting. I'll put a picture of this where feet kind of point out and lay flat. I think it's just a corgi thing. I've never seen any other dogs do it. It's probably kind of hard for any dogs to do, to do it because of their longer legs. But he does, he's been uh, splooting a little bit more as he gets a little older. It's also getting a little bit more animated with the ears. At first, his ears just mostly kind of pointed forward, but now I notice like he lays them flat and angles them a little bit more in that. So I guess he's maybe learning how to use them a little bit better. And he's learning to jump. Probably something maybe a little unique to corgis. Uh, he kind of he gets in a sitting position. And then he, he he jumps. He tries to get up onto like everything. Now he's just been picking up on that a lot. And I'm trying to catch as much as I can on video, but he has like the attention span of a gnat. Sometimes he tries something for a second. I go grab the camera, and boom, he's gone. He's off. He's on his way. This guy is so hard to videotape him doing anything. Except sleeping. He sleeps a lot, so, uh, you know, he's, he's puppy. He wakes up in just a burst of energy. we got to let him outside so he can use the bathroom. Uh, we're still in the potty training process. You know, that's that's kind of like the puppy thing. Uh, we got puppy pads. We're really trying to get him to go outside. So he goes outside, uses the bathroom. We give him a little treat, reward. That uh, frequent trips outside with the puppy. Uh, he's still, you know, some little boo boos in the house, which is expected, and that's just any kind of uh, puppy uh, that you're gonna have. So we are trying to get him to learn to, like, you know, let us go outside, you know, get him to go outside, use the bathroom. So little growing pains that you're gonna have with any puppy that you have. Um, He's in that teething phase, like chews on everything. <laughs> My wife has some type of, uh, I think it's like a squash type thing. It's in the pumpkin family, whatever it is. Like, she had him on the bottom of a table out there that had a little thing. Well, he snatched the thing off. It's like twice the size of him. He eating it. He loves the damn that pumpkin squash, whatever the thing is. But like my wife, she'll get up in the morning, wear a robe, and she can't walk anywhere because he's just chomping at the thing, especially like the uh, the band that goes around. You know, the uh, ties around your waist to hold it closed. He gets his teeth sunk into that. Uh, if you play with him, he like bites your finger, doesn't want to let go, and he's got the littlest teeth, and they are sharp. I'll tell you what, he's got some sharp teeth. Jeez, yeah, your teeth are very sharp. So that's kind of like the little puppy thing we're in right now, is with the teeth biting and chewing everything. And this guy is so low to the ground, like literally, he walks and he's like within an inch of everything. He's, we found stuff in the house we didn't even know we had anymore because every time I turn around, he's like chewing on something. So we have to like 
really go through and make sure we get everything up so he doesn't like eat some. Yeah. Oh, what the, this really isn't related to potty training. It was kind of potty. It's funny. He he just within the past couple of days kind of learned to like lift his leg when he pees. He would just go out there and kind of just stand there and pee. And now all of a sudden we watch her, he kind of like lifts up his leg a little bit. It's, uh, it's hilarious because he's got just like little legs. He's only got little legs. Look at his eyes, man. They are not the prettiest. I hope they don't change colors. You know, sometimes puppies do. But the breeder told me like the back side of his ears will get lighter. You can kind of see now they're already starting to get a little tan. But she said basically I guess when they're tan here they will. And I think she also said like his back end will get a little tanner too maybe. There you go. So you can look to see him maybe change a little bit color, get a little bit lighter in a few spots. It was kind of like our German Shepherd when my wife got her. She had a full on black saddle patch going on the back and a really black face. And by the time the dog was maybe six months, she kind of bleached out. It was really kind of blonde, kind of like the her mom was the dog's mom. <laughs> It's a very light colored shepherd as well. So yeah, uh, man, <laughs> having a puppy is challenging. You gotta just make sure they're not chewing on stuff. Uh, you know, it's like I had the blue light here. I had to replace that. He, uh, he got back there and chewed into it and destroyed it. They're designed to be cut. They're like LED strips. They're designed to be cut to make custom lanes. So. I mean, he must have been in the right spot that he killed it from all the way down, down the line. Now, don't worry, there, it's just like 5 volts. It runs on a USB, so it's not high voltage. But I did replace it, and I tied it up a little bit higher than where it was before. But um, the only difference is, like, look, the colors don't match. It's the same thing, but this is more teal. This one's more, I guess they maybe they fade in time, so I've had these up like a year now, maybe. So, oh, well, it is what it is. Puppy, puppy teething. Oh, I cannot wait for the teething phase to go because, uh, man, if you leave your shoes anywhere, they'll be gone. He, he always loves to take them to one of the beds. We have like, oh, wait, wait, one, two, three, one, two. And we have five full-size, like, beds, and he's got his little one. If you watch my first video that I got him at PetSmart that's in the bedroom, of course, the wife has it on her side of the bed so she can watch him at night. But, uh. We have five of the beds, and he'll get a toy or a shoe or something, a sandal, and he drags it to one of the beds. So you'll go find your shoes on top of one of the dog beds if you leave them down. So, yeah, uh, potty training, you know, that's going to be a work in progress. You know, it's one of those things we just have to take him outside as often as possible. When he does go, we try to reinforce that. Um, I love the sound that uh, he makes when he walks. Um, I was mentioning earlier, like the, you know, puppy, he sleeps a lot, and then he comes up, and he's got this energy, man, he's got the zoomies, and it's so friggin' funny. Watching the little feet go, it's hilarious. And the sound he makes when he trots, like, normally you walk around the house, he follows you ever. He's totally glued to us. Like, we walk from one room to another, he's in there. And it's, I just, I love it, man. His little feet, da, 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 da. just tapping on the floor. It's, it's freaking, I love that sound. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. But, yeah, uh, love, I love, love the little dog, man. I'm glad, glad I got him. Uh, I used to have, I mentioned my first video, four dogs of my own. They've all passed. They were on their teens, various health conditions, and it was very tough. I had to put them all down. Uh, and it's, that sucks. That's the worst part of owning an animal. But uh, it's been quite a while since I've had like a dog of my own. Our German Shepherd's not really the cuddly type. Like my dogs, I could always pick them up if I want to, kind of wrestle around with them. Uh, her, if I try to pick her up, she's going to snap at me. She does not want to be picked up, kind of held any kind of way. She doesn't want to be, you know, she she's, you know, she'll you can pet her, you can throw a stick, she'll grab it, stuff like that, but... Nah, she's not the uh, 
cuddly dog now with my wife totally different my wife can get away with a lot more than what i can but i don't dare push push it with that dog but man she puts the teeth out and starts growling and it's it's scary uh so yeah i wanted more of the cute cuddly friendly type dog so i, I didn't want anything big i just want something to be because we have the rv we'll travel and stuff like that and maybe a dog i can taking the car and I have to move stuff because like the German Shepherd I have to fold the back seats down and, and to give her room in the car you know he rides comfortably in the seat uh, the Shepherd I really don't like my car on the seats because they're leather and she's got big claws but uh, anyhow this is about the Corgi so uh, I try to videotape as much as I can uh, these growing stages and just life in general with the corgi like i said right now he gets a very short attention span you throw him a toy he squeaks it for a second and he's on off to the next thing he's just he's all over the place so hard to like video and catch this guy doing something but uh yeah so anyway like i said my milo told me he wanted an update because he knows he's got his fans out there and he wants his pretty face out there so there's our uh little puppy corgi update hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more Thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next one.